I'm a little bit excited right now because, I mean, I know it's personal preference, but one of the first things I do when I get a rally car, Evo, STI, WRX, is make it wingless. So I picked up a used trunk and I just got it painted. So now my WRX will be wingless. And I just got the call that I can go pick it up. So that's where I'm going now. So I just picked up the trunk and hopefully in the next few days, I'll get to install it. And as it turns out, I was able to install it the very next day because I caught COVID and had to stay home. Looking back on it, this is the first time I've ever swapped the trunk on a regular WRX. My STI had a different kind of wing and my first WRX was wingless from the factory. All right, so let's see what's involved with taking this trunk off. We've got the arms that are on the hinges, bolt there and there, both sides, kind of obvious. And we have this wire or this pair of wires. Um, all right, so, hmm, that may be problematic. Let's see if we can disconnect that somewhere else. There are always surprises. I should have known. So they have the, the murder escape lever there that is held in with those plastic clips. Um, that looks straightforward. I imagine there's a mechanism behind it. Then there's the locks that are connected there and right there. So, wait a minute, I might not need I might not need these wires because my trunk is wingless. Maybe the original trunk on this was wingless. See, I think those wires are just for the brake light on the wing. When, as long as this one works, I'm good to go. So I'm just gonna cut the wires. I'm gonna give myself plenty of length and then swap over the mechanical parts and I think that's all I need to do. I'm silly. Yeah, I forgot to cut the zip ties that kept the wire for the brake light in place. This could be disastrous, but I'm gonna try and do this by myself. That pink thing is a yoga mat. This is a freshly painted trunk and I neglected to check the threads before inserting the bolts. This is gonna come back to bite me. This second bolt was difficult to get in. And so was the third one. And then this happened. Man, look what I did. I snapped this bolt off, probably because there was paint in the threads and I was being a little too aggressive. So let me... Uh, Take this off and see if I have a bolt of similar length. That gum it. Yeah, so check this out. This one was coming up and getting in the way. So I put a weight on it. I know, I'm clever. Well, I'm gonna try the double nut method to get this out. All right, let's see if we can get it out. All right, I got it moving. Ew. Well, let's see if we can clean these threads up. Fix the thread 
that I screwed up. So now I can put it together. And since I know this is good now and that this one is really good, I'm gonna put this one in foist. Nice and smooth. And I found a placeholder I can put in until I get the right one, which will be this afternoon. All right, let's see how well it's lined up. I'll call that good. Even here to here, and here to here. So I'm gonna tighten it down and put on the rest of the components. All right, so there are one, two, three, four bumpers to take off and then the mechanism. So I'm gonna start with these. All right, so this is connected to the lock on the other side. All right, I know how well you can see this, but to disconnect the lock, you just have to pull that pla the, the orange plastic piece off of that arm. So I'm just gonna pull it down like that there, and that rod should pull out. Nice and easy. So this latch is held in with the two bolts, one there and one there. And there's a cable right here that snakes around and is connected to the don't kill me latch. With this free and that free, you have to decide which end you want to take off to remove it from the old trunk. And I'm just gonna use this one. This white plastic piece needs to come up out of the black plastic, and then you need to free that little ball. Just like that. So now this comes out. And that black clip with the L that is closest to the camera Need to pull that out and that should free the lock. Let's see if we can do that. All right, so that piece, I got it out, looks like this. And that should, and it does, allows the lock to come out like this. And I'm gonna rem remember that this is up so this is up now all that's left is the bumpers so i'm gonna take them off well i assume they twist off but i guess i was wrong ah just pulls out let's see if this pulls out uh oh how does this come out Oh, this clips in. Ah, that clips in. All right, I'm gonna try a trick. Okay, I figured out how to get it out. It's a little bumper that looks like this. I used a seven millimeter socket on the back side of it. I saw this trick on TikTok. And you push it in, and then that allows you to pull it out. So I've taken one out. I'm gonna show you how I'm taking the other one out. All right, let's see if this will work just as easy as the other side. Be nice with an extension, but you can do it. Oh, let me get this, let me get this, let me get this. So that's, all right, so this is just a little bit longer segment. Oh, and just pushing it on there almost got it out. Oh, it's coming. Yep, came out, no damage. I just had to 
work it a little bit. Uh, so that's good. All right, let's get this lock into the new one. So now I gotta put this clip back in. And unfortunately I gotta ruin whatever camera angle I could get to get it in, but I'll get it in. So I had trouble getting this back in and I don't know if this is the way this is supposed to look, but one of these is broken. I think there should be two. I got maybe I can view the old tape and see, but so one side is open and one side is closed. So what I'm gonna try and do is slide the bottom in first and then drag the, the top across it while it's in there. We'll see if that works. Um, if it doesn't, I may be hurting, hunting for another one of these because I don't know if this is the way it's supposed to look. I might've damaged it or it could have been damaged already, but we'll see. And that actually worked. And it's very secure, so that worked. Moving right along. All right, let's see if we can get this back in. All right, I had to put my hand in the way of the camera, but insert this rod back into the lock, rotate that orange piece back around onto the rod and you're good to go. All right, so first make sure this cable is coming through the big opening. And then you want to insert the ball back into the lever here, rotate it into the slot and lock it back down. And then, should be able to reposition it like that and load her up. Like that, and that's what it looks like when I'm done. Although they did do their job, they seemed a bit small, but I'm gonna put these fasteners back in. Now the easy part, the bumpers. The little bumpers. Should snap in here, boom, boom. And the big bumpers, let's see, do they go in easily here? Don't just pop in. All right, so the way I got this back in, just get a little one lip in and then twist it and the rest just sinks in. So, let's see how it fits. And I like it. That's the look I want. Let's clean up. So that's winged and wingless. Winged, wingless. I like it. I like it a lot. So now I'm gonna pick back up with my other projects. But if you would like to follow along as I continue to modify and improve my 04 WRX, hit subscribe. If you'd like to see the things I've already done to it, check out my playlist. Thanks for watching. Take care.